What's up, YouTube? It's Cards of Michael. Today, we're opening an Unfinity Collector Booster. This is for Schlarper. Thank you so much for supporting this, the channel and sponsoring this opening. In case you've never heard of sponsoring, it just means you're basically buying the box for me to open live, or it's not live, but on video, and I send you the content. So if you're interested in sponsoring an Unfinity Collector, please reach out in the comments or my email. All right, so Unfinity, the latest unset, the most recent unset with a Collector Booster variant. And let's get straight to it. Um, we're going to open this in the middle of the box after pack six, just to keep you guys kind of in suspense for what's going on. But yeah, let's get straight to it. So we are not the first Infinity. Infinity is released for uh, just a few days. It released last weekend and Collector Booster started getting opened um, maybe like last week, Tuesday, Wednesday. So let's go ahead and do this. We actually did the research to be able to <laughs> educatedly tell you what's in these packs. And if you're ever curious what a set has, just Google collecting and then the name of the set. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Of course, the unsets do have cards that are not legal for tournament play. And we'll know later on with a little acorn sign. But okay, first four cards are four foil commons. After that, we have two foil uncommons, ballerina and a pin collection. Okay. After that, we have our traditional foil attraction. All right, here's our attraction. It's a balloon stand. And after that, a traditional foil rare or mythic rare. And this is always going to be kind of the old frame. It's never going to be a showcase or borderless frame, a fun frame. Okay, it's going to be a rare or mythic. This just a nice little, this is what we're used to as Magic the Gathering players. And notice that it does have that hollow stamp, so it is legal for... Um, Legacy, Vintage, and Commander are the three formats that this is legal for, okay? And after that, we have a Galaxy Foil, Common or Uncommon. And this is always going to be kind of that old school border that we're used to. And I'm saying this because sometimes they could be showcase or borderless, but not in this slot. It's always going to be Galaxy Foil, and it's always going to look like this, all right? Next, we have the Galaxy Foil Rare or Mythic. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Okay. That's what it looks like. And then after that, we have our gap, uh, sorry, this is our traditional foil um, showcase common, but sometimes it could be galaxy foil. So this is just to showcase the showcase uh, frame, okay? And then after that, we actually have an unset card. These are gonna be cards from the list. You can tell by that little planeswalker symbol. And all the previous unsets have always been silver bordered. So that's another way you can kind of tell what's going on. Okay. All right. And then we have the Grand Marshal Macy. And this is a traditional or galaxy foil rare or mythic that is guaranteed going to be showcase or borderless. Okay. So that's the that's why I've been stressing whether or not it's showcase or borderless. And after that, we have... Kind of the cream of the crop, the reason why these things are really sought after. Here is a traditional foil, um, planetary or orbitary land. So this is actually orbital. Um, I think the next one should be, yeah, here we go. So these are the two cycles of basic lands. And then this is actually galaxy foil, which is nice. Um, these are uh, planetary because they're on the planet and orbital because, you know, the perspective is you're in orbit. Another thing, these are being called atomic because they do have an atomic kind of esque mana symbol right there. All right, so these are two style of basic lands, and of course, as per all tradition, the collector booster does have a um, foil double sided token after that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the second pack. We're gonna go through that breakdown one more time, a little bit faster. All right, and then. And then, yeah, then we'll start getting rolling. So here we go, our four foil commons. We got those acorns, but you know you can't play these in those older formats. Our two foil uncommons, our foil attraction, our foil rare or mythic, and a <laughs> galaxy foil upside down coming attraction. Same thing here, galaxy foil rare or mythic. And our, this time it's galaxy foil. It's always gonna be an uncommon or a common uh, showcase or borderless frame, all right? And then we have our list card, the Earl of Squirrel. Uh, it is relatively off-center, but not by a ton, all right? Then we have the Captain Rex Nebula. This is to kind of show off that 
showcase frame. This could have been not galaxy foil, but here it is in the beautiful Plains traditional foil. All right. Look at that. And, uh, and I didn't say this earlier, but it's always going to be traditional foil and a galaxy foil. So you're always going to get a galaxy foil basic in every single pack. And we got our clown robot and our treasure token. All right. So that is pack number two. Let's go to the pack number three. Hopefully these are helpful. They're always actually really helpful for me. I do watch a lot of box openings to get a feel for what these look like. And I kind of, you know, when I don't know what's going on, I really appreciate when the opener tells me what to expect. Here's our foil rare, galaxy foil, galaxy foil. Our showcase could be galaxy, but not in this case. We got our list card serpentine with the other half augment. Ignacio Myris Marvels is our Galaxy Foil Rare into our beautiful island. Okay, planetary. And wow, that actually looks super sweet. Our orbital planes. Jeez. That looks nice. It really does. It really does. I don't know. Flying cat token. What makes the flying cat token? Anyways, on to the next pack. Remember, we will open the box topper after pack number six, so here we go. Four foil commons, two foil uncommons, our foil attraction, spelling B, love it. Upside down galaxy foils. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And Roxy, publicist to the stars, our list card, Baron Von Kaut, that's a mythic. Nocturnal of Myra's Marvels. Our planetary mountain into our galaxy mountain. Ooh, nice little compare contrast here. Okay, all right. Okay, on to the next. Here we go. This is pack number five. We actually haven't seen a forest yet. We're just pure Jeskai with a swamp. Jeskai Black, one of my favorite standard decks back in the day here we go we got urza's funhouse quick fixer tug of war with the mythic symbol spinneret arachnobot split screen captain rex and a foil borderless sacred foundry ding 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 we should be expecting roughly two of these in addition to the box topper and a beautiful galaxy planes. Oh, that is that is a treat. That is a treat. And a teddy bear. Not creepy at all token and a balloon token. All right. Go ahead. Give this guy a sleeve. Sacred Foundry. Nice little start. And pack number six. We're looking for the Galaxy Foiled Hollow Fountain. So the chance, here we go. Dart throw, phone a friend. Upside down galaxy cards, electrocute. And Floros, Tuscan Whiskers, Cramped Bunker, Devil, K Neville. I thought it was Evil Knievel, but I guess it's just different. We got our beautiful traditional foil island into a swamp. Still haven't seen a forest yet. But a beautiful orbital swamp and a clown robot. The backside being a storm crow. Okay. Box topper time. Finish pack number six. We're halfway through the box. Let's see what we get in this beautiful box topper. Box toppers are also traditional foil borderless shocklands. And what do we have here? It's a watery grave. Traditional foil. You love to see it. So we got so far two shock lands. And on to the next pack for Schlarper. Here we go. We got trivia contests. Oh, she looks like uh ah oh, the Asian actress from Queens. Forgot her name. Alright, here we go. Ride guide carnival barker. Here's our silver border. Oops, here's our silver border card. Here is our showcase card. Beautiful. Art style and motif. Meet and greet. Cisse. Love it. Love it. And finally, our first forest. Planetary forest into a galaxy forest. 
seems to happen more often than not. All right, we will take it in our squirrel token. All right, on to the next. This is pack number eight, I believe. Yeah, there are four more packs. Hoping for that second shock land. And we got ourselves a sub of the pack. <laughs> Shark, Megar, Swamp, and a Galaxy Foil Swamp. Last four packs for Schlubber. Still looking for that Galaxy Foil Shock Land. Are we going to get one? Are we going to get one? Here we go. Brims, Circadian, Nocturno. Planes into a beautiful galaxy foil mountain. Three more packs. I have faith. I have faith that we'll see another Shockland. Um, there's supposed to be one in every 24 draft boosters and one in every 24 of the last two slots, if that makes sense. There are 12 packs, and each pack has two slots. So ideally you do see um ideally you do see the second shock land roughly per collector booster. Alright, we have 24 chances. Wait, if it's one in 24. No 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 no. Wait, I should reread that article. Here we go. Forest into a plane. All right, we have our last pack. Can we just get one Galaxy Foil Shockland for all Schlarper? Here we go. Fortune Teller, Tug of War, Juggle Tron. Can't pronounce that. And we got the <laughs> Bevy of Beebles, Megar of the Magic. I do know some people who collect these, by the way. So this isn't too bad, but their value is going to plummet, obviously, because they are not so useful in the Collector Booster. All right. Last chance. Come on, give me that. What should be? It should be a rare, right? No, oh, it's just a land. A beautiful, beautiful island. All right, Schlarper, thank you so much for supporting me. I'm sorry we couldn't get that Galaxy Foil Hollow Fountain. We did get at least two Shocklands. And we're going to have to open more of these to determine if this is good or bad. But that's what we got. Thank you guys for watching. Leave some comments and feedback in the comments below. Like if you like this kind of stuff. And we'll see you on the next one.